Hi, this is Dumb Dave for Kanji Memories with a video to help you remember the Japanese kanji for talk. See kanjimemories.com for an introduction, or just follow along, and all will become clear. We start with the green kanji memories card, which shows just two elements. If you are not already familiar with them, then perhaps view our videos for them first. Anyway, on the left is the element that signifies saying something, on the right is the symbol for tongue. Technically the right-hand side has a different origin than the tongue symbol, but as it looks like the symbol for tongue, that is what we will call it. And now our Kanji Memories memory card, which is a fascinating image showing the story of the Tower of Babel, where so many different languages were spoken there was complete confusion. Perhaps this is why the tower in the picture has so many strange stairways going nowhere. Of course, I must not go babbling on here, we all have Kanji to learn. We put the two cards together and look at the suggested association on the green card. At the Tower of Babel they talk in tongues, they say. We need to associate say on the left with tongue on the right to give us the word talk. At the Tower of Babel they talk in tongues, they say. Now whenever you see people chatting enthusiastically in Japanese you can think of the Tower of Babel. So, where do we find this kanji used? Here are two examples. You will shortly hear the Japanese for each, with the second and third repeats spoken slowly. その後、二人の男の子は映画のことを話しました。その後、二人の男の子は映画のことを話しました。その後、二人の男の子は映画のことを話しました。講義の話題はリーダーシップだった。講義の話題はリーダーシップだった。and that completes this Kanji Memories video. We really hope that you found it useful, and that you will visit our main website, kanjimemories.com, for our latest resources.